Nowadays, our devices are filled with applications running side by side concurrently. The applications within a specific device could connect to each other and share stuff. It is also possible for two applications running on different devices far away to connect remotely and share data. Like when your browser on your machine connects to websites far away. Now the mechanics of the communication have been completely abstracted away from programmers, but knowing a little bit about the internals and the implementation details could help us write better applications. Especially the newbie programmers could make a good use of a mental picture of the overall model to understand the rationale behind the API and the abstraction they are dealing with. I've prepared a superficial story from the real life to be used as a metaphor and help us to understand the mechanics of the communication between two applications. And we will use this story as a reference throughout these series about inner process communication in general and socket programming in particular. So let's dive in. Say there is a building with multiple apartments that the inhabitants are from different nationalities. Now, if the residents within a specific apartment want to communicate and share stuff, they could easily do so because uh, they share the same space and there is not much infrastructure or equipment needed. Now, what if two apartments living concurrently within the same building want to communicate and share stuff? Considering that the apartments might be placed far away from each other or might have residents with different nationalities. Inside each building, there is a janitor or caretaker that makes the apartment habitable for the residents. He provides services, infrastructure, and capabilities to apartments, and he runs the building. So if two apartments want to communicate and share, the origin could ask the janitor to come and take the package to the destination synchronously. The mechanics of the synchronous package delivery service is pre-agreed protocol or contract between the apartments and the janitor. The apartments know the size limit. They know how they should call the janitor for service. They know how to address the destination apartment and so forth. A janitor could provide other means and infrastructure for inner apartment communication. For example, they could use pipes from all apartments to the janitor. When an apartment wants to send stuff, it could address the destination on the package and throw it into the pipe. Then the packets get in line inside the queue and the janitor would deliver them one by one asynchronously. So each building and its janitor could provide custom and arbitrary methods of communication and sharing. And all the parties, the apartments and the janitor, should agree on all the terms and the conditions of protocols in advance. Now let's say two apartments from two different buildings far away from each other want to communicate and send packages. They have each their own inner protocols and infrastructure that might have some similarities, but now they must agree on some global protocols to be able to communicate and understand each other. Now, of course, there must be some intermediary infrastructure and equipment established to form a network of buildings. And in this case, the POST system is the no-brainer model. In the POST system that models the network of buildings, each building has a unique postal code that makes the addressing possible. Now, the origin apartment could address the destination apartment uniquely with the postal code plus the number of the apartment.
Now let's consider the two protocols that the parties could agree upon to send packages in terms of package size, delivery guarantee, and the arrival and order guarantee. Let's say that the apartments and the janitors agree on some sort of connection-oriented communication for sending huge packages in form of a sequence of small packages. In that case, the origin apartment passes the contents consecutively to the janitor and the janitor packages them based on the transmission size limit into small packets and numbers them and sends them in batch through the post infrastructure. It then waits for the acknowledgement from the janitor in the destination building. The acknowledgement could be per each small packet or per bunch of packets that have been delivered successfully. The janitor on the destination puts the packets in the right order and unwraps them and feed the contents to the destination apartment in a consecutive fashion. In this protocol, the two apartments are not involved in the mechanics of the packaging by the janitors. All they see is a consecutive and stream of contents that form a bigger structure. With this protocol, the janitors using the POST system provide a connection-oriented and guaranteed method for sharing packages with any size. And all the POST system has to know and do is to transfer packets one by one individually. And the rest of chopping, numbering, acknowledging, and restoring the packets are done by the janitors. The second protocol that the apartments could use is the connection-less communication. In this method, the apartments themselves are involved in chopping, ordering, and checking the delivery and the order of arrival of each packet they have wrapped. The janitors just relay and pass the small packets to the post system for delivery. The janitor at the destination uh, delivers the received packet as is to the destination apartment and he does not get involved with unwrapping the contents and etc. Now the apartments might choose to check the arrival of all packets or they might accept a ratio of packet drops or disorder delivery based on the importance and the nature of their content. Now, of course, we could use the telephone system as a metaphor, you know, like, uh, for example, inner telephone for inner apartment uh, communication and global telephone for uh, communication between the buildings. And for example, uh, inner telephone number and global telephone number for addressing or uh, the pre-agreed protocols. Or for example, we could take the SMS for connection-less communication that the parties are involved with packaging and, and that might arrive out of order or even get lost. And we could take the voice call for a stateful communication that you ask the other side to repeat and acknowledge if a packet uh, or in this case, the voice piece is lost or dropped. But we choose the post system for sharing uh, physical packages like data. We will refer to different parts of this metaphor throughout these series about inner process communication and socket programming.